recognition that over-centralization was hampering growth in rural towns, the Special Rural Development Program sought to promote the growth of rural centers to decentralize growth, markets and job opportunities. This Special Development Program worked, but there was no guarantee finances would be available. It was a good intention. The problem was how to mechanize it, how to make it happen. The Special Rural and Development Program was a government-wide thing. It had no locus in the government. It was, being, it was an initiative of government just to bring rural and development. But it, it had no uh, decision centers or power centers or control centers. Because first, because there may be no adequate funds, not every corner of the country will get something. Not every deserving Kenyan will get something. And because even in the rural roads, for example, there was no formula to be used to say it is road in this area, this area, this area, with this formula. There was a lot of discretion. And the same money could be used just in one area or in one region or in one district, depending on who is you know, uh, authorizing the money to be used. And that is where the failure to bring equity in the country arose from. That was a major weakness of that kind of an approach. As a program, it was a very good initiative because it targeted to bring both equity in or balance in terms of development in the country as well as generate jobs and the other things out in the rural areas. So it was a very good program. The special